Um, what was your What was your background like? Though? Like, was it Christian? Uh, it was Christian, um, but it wasn't forced Christian. It was my uh, the something to do Christian. Something to do, something to do Christian. Wow. Right. I didn't. I I didn't really have the. Uh, yeah, I didn't have the, the, the scare. I didn't really get the scare. Mm. I didn't get the okay. scare. My grandmother wasn't like that with me. Okay. I, you know, my grandmother, man, one thing I love about her is she you, always... You was raised by her. I'm raised by my grandmother. Okay. She always kept it real. Mm. And so I never really heard her, like, I don't know, like, she might, you know, you know, God has been good to me. She might say something like that, God's been good to me, and, uh, you know, old people stuff. But she ain't the, the Holy Ghost type. She not... Mm. Jesus and you to death. The, you know, the people that I used to go to church with, right, they, were more like they were more like that, but I liked their church more than my grandmother's church. Because mm. all the, you know, the kids and all the young girls right, right, at that right, right, vacation right. Bible school was lit. I don't care <laughs> who you are. <laughs> vacation Bible school was lit, Gene. What? That little Kool-Aid cookies they give you? What? Well, well, vacation well. Bible school was lit. I, I used to look forward to that shit in the summertime, man. So yeah, I had a little Christian background, but um, my, I have a real educated family too, so it, it's, it's being that I'm from Northern Cali, we not we not as American dreamish. It's more educational, okay. you know what I mean? Um, well, black, they, black, they black people having pride and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because oh my, my uncle, he wasn't a Muslim, but remember I told you he the one that dropped the, the, the jewel on me first. Right. The first time I ever heard. The story of Yaqub, the graft, the graft, the, uh, the grafting of the devil, was my uncle Frankie, mm. and he had a perm. Yeah, and he wasn't even on. Nah, he wasn't on that. He was just going. He was in and out of prison so much. He at had, this particular he time, he oh. absorbed the 28th degree, mm. and I knew it was the 28th because when I first saw the 28th degree, I was like, oh, no, this is this is what my uncle was. I thought he was just you know, because it was a great story. I was like, yo, I went to school the next day, bugged out. Now you got to think it's 85. Before I, before Nation, before any of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is the first time I ever heard something about like the white man being devil. He didn't even say nothing about no Elijah Muhammad, no that. He just explained Islam to me. Well, like eight, nine years old. Yeah, like eight, nine years old. So he go through the twentieth degree. So I'm looking at all white people like, okay, because this what happened. I was, I, I, I was at the doctor's office with my grandmother one day, and I seen these Christian books. And they had all these like white baby angels in there and shit, and I didn't see no black people. So I was like, damn, do black people go to hell? Because you don't see no. I don't ever see like nobody black in the in the clouds with wings and all of that shit. Right, right. So I'm like, do we go? I was kind of like, damn, what's, what's up with this? So I, I came my uncle, like he kind of seen I was kind of disturbed by that, and he was like, man, devils, man, we don't like, you know, this 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 my uncle was straight street pimping, snort coke. Freebase and but with muscles and shit like look like Melly Mel on dope, you know what I'm saying? But brown skin with the uh, Shirley Temples, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, rollers in there. You talking about brothers? West Coast parents. Yeah, the, you talking about brothers that go to the salon? Right, salon. They don't go to hair uh, the, the barber. Right, they get right. rollers in there. They coming out <laughs> with Stacy Adams on. Bob used to tell me like wearing jeans is for white boys. They didn't wear jeans. They wore slacks. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't with none of that jeans and tennis shoe shit. They said he said he used to be like, you're just like a white boy. You know what I mean? But he hit he hit me with that at 20th degree. Right, right. And at eight, nine years old, what kind of pressure did that have on It was like watching a movie in my head. You know what I'm saying? You know what else could trip me out with uh that movie um Island of Dr. Moreau. Remember that movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. You made me like this. Yo, I was like, yo, Yakub is real. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is Yakub. Right, I'm like, this right, is right. like a uh, Hollywood version of it. Wow. But I'm like, this is definitely Yakub. They're on a little island. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, they like, father, they're treating me like Yakub. He had to, remember they say uh, Yakub had to have, uh, Moses had to have a ring of fire. Fire, he had the ring of fire on him. Go back to that movie. Yeah, go back to that movie, God. It's in Island of Dr. Moreau. Island of Dr. Moreau. That's about Yakub, G. Yo, that's Cause he's dealing with gene genetics. Genetics, right? You know what I'm saying? And he's he's crossbreeding animals and different shit. You know what I'm saying? Making people into GMOs. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I saw that, that was just I'm like, oh man, this is this is crazy. Like, yo, this is wild. Like, oh, this is real. Then when I first saw an albino person. I was like, oh, this is like a black person in between. 
becoming a white person. Mm -hmm. That's just how I'm looking at it as a kid. Right, 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 right. If Mega did this. Peace and celebration of each other. We support each other's hustle. Weight Life has sponsored this content. You can get a sweatshirt, t-shirt, or a hoodie at the Common Unity Store of a law school in Mecca. Or just simply hit me up. I got the hookup. Peace.